fucking police officer. Drop, drop the knife. Drop the knife. <laughs> We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way, uh, so we're going to let these guys do their thing. So these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him, and they're getting his shit on their clothes. stuff we deal with uh, as property managers, as investors. You guys had this happen here before? Not, uh, a, not at this building, I don't think. What, people dying? Yeah. But, but uh, me and my partner don't go inside because we gotta make some calls. Okay. Are you young me? Uh, yes. Okay, here's a notice to evict. Okay? What? Here's your notice for... Put the knife down right now or I'm gonna f*** Put your knife down. Put the f***ing knife down. You don't put the, put the knife, knife down right now. Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop. 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 15 Adam 5, code cover, one with a knife. Put, put the gun down right now. Put the gun down right now. Now, drop the knife. Drop the knife, ma'am. So, of course, go there. This dude had just been like taking his like soiled clothes and sticking them in the washing machine without uh, rinsing them off, even though he told me not to even use our washing machine. So he's like got like you know, a washing machine's not designed to get like shovelfuls of shit out of your clothes. You know, it's, you, gotta, you gotta do a little pre-treatment. So, these poor people. You will get shot if you come at me with that knife. I will shoot you. I'm not afraid. Do you understand that? I'm not coming out. Okay, I will shoot you. Do you understand? Put the knife down. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So, like, they could do it at any time at 24 hours. Drop the knife, please. Don't make me do this. Drop the knife now. I'm not a fake police officer. Drop the knife. So, these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him, and they're getting his shit on their clothes. They inside the dryer's just caked. It's all baked in there. We had to get rid of the dryer. We had to get rid of the washing machine. Thankfully, we were able to evict that guy, but, I mean... I'm glad we could work it out, and it's mutually beneficial yeah, for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mission accomplished! Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation, so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way, uh, so we're going to let these guys do their thing. This tenant lived here since January of 2020, rent free. And we finally were able to get him out with the help of the marshals 
a few days ago. Well, since these motherfuckers been coming in, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hot tea. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, set the record straight, they don't live in apartment one. Okay. Angel Cause that's the man that like the cans. Cause I got two bags of cans up there for him. There you go. Rolling now. Got it. <laughs> Shit. Your kids are trying Hopefully to buy it. Hopefully that's the hardest thing to take. Yeah. Look at that! Look at that freaking turd freaking locker! Woo hoo! Y'all ever seen a toilet that looked like that before? Woo boy! And these are all from my own portfolio, folks. That right there. I've never actually pooped on it, but that is my toilet. <laughs> Insane. So all the tenants belongings gonna end up stacked on that side of the house right there Now the way it works here in Cleveland is all of that stuff is gonna be left out there and whatever isn't stolen by scrappers see a lot of the scrappers they will follow these bailiffs cars and they will steal all of that stuff but whatever isn't stolen or retrieved by the tenants by 5 p.m. tonight, this moving crew is going to drive back to this property. They're going to grab everything, put it in their trunk, put it in their truck. They're either going to dispose of it, sell it, you know, whatever they got to do. Oh, what about that bathtub, man? Does that toilet make you want to take a little bath? Get a little clean? What? You going to take a little bath in that bad boy? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's all kinds of turd. Oh, we even got some, like, some of the brown paper towel action. Woo! Now that, folks, that right there, that's a squatty potty, man. Don't pay attention to the disgustingness in the rim of that toilet. What about that squatty potty? This video is not sponsored by squatty potty. This is my grandpa's next door. 10 million or something. This is my grandma that lives next door. I actually, like, um, not heard this fight. I'm going to my grandpa, man. That's where. So, there's only one more thing I need to do. There's like a plate of food right there that I wanted to grab. It's her plate. Oh, that's right. You just, it's like right now. There's all stuff like I, when I was, was staying here, I looked at it a little bit. I just had moved. And I just lost the sister from the truck. You know, like my truck and an indoor to put it in. I love my truck with like a bed and stuff. do around here you can see we got some toys we got two broken windows in this room coming back around you gotta show off that beautiful bathroom oh yes five star amenities in this bathroom i don't know if i can stand in here though we only say five star because <laughs> For whatever reason, they don't uh, usually measure higher. <laughs> God, that sink. The toilet fucking reeks. I don't want to bet that's clogged. For sure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.